Hi, my name is uh, Huron, and I am from Battlecross. How is the tour been going so far? It's winding down the last couple days. Tour has been awesome. Uh, everyone's been really fucking awesome. All the bands are great. Um, it's just been an awesome tour. Uh, this is like a uh, solid metal lineup of bands. You know, everyone's got a unique style to thrash metal. So it's kind of cool to showcase all these bands and you know Death Angel have been these guys have been doing it for a long time and it's cool to for for them to bring us out and uh, we're just fucking honored to be opening for them and uh, the show has been great people have been coming out supporting it so it's really cool it's really cool to see people still supporting metal in a strong way. Uh, last time I saw you guys was in Colorado Springs and you guys had trailer issues and I was going to ask. How's it going this tour? But never mind, so. <laughs> yeah, we just have bad luck. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's like, you know, on the way to Colorado last time for this tour, we had trailer issues, and then once again, here we go. But uh, it's just all part of touring. You know, the, nothing's ever, you know, peachy keen all the time. You have problems. The most important thing is just working through it and come making the show. So, talking about issues, uh, let's talk about the dudes behind your drum kit. You guys tagged Chad and Lucas um, to do the album for you. Mm -hmm. How did that come to life? Did you guys know Shannon? prior to that or was it a label recommendation? Yeah, um, well no, we we knew Shannon. Shannon was a big part of uh, Battlecross. He really helped our career. He's basically been the guy that's kind of been the scout from Metal Blade to like hey, you know, like basically he was kind of the bridge that gap between Metal Blade and us when we were first trying to get signed. And uh, he's been a strong supporter of the band. He's offered a lot of advice to us. So when we had issues with our drummer before going in the studio, uh, Shannon was definitely more than willing to help us out. And uh, it was awesome, you know. He's just a great dude, a great drummer, and um, he adapted really quickly and learned the songs pretty quickly. So we went in the studio, and he, it was just, he knocked it out in like a few days, you know. It was awesome. So, um, you know, and right now we're just kind of keeping our options open for uh, the drummer search so we're not in any kind of hurry to, to snag someone up so we're just kind of you know it's cool that we get to play with such great drummers like Kevin Talley, Adam Pierce from All Show Paris so you know. Well, and then this is what I was just gonna ask I mean Kevin Talley was it uh, working with him at Monster? He's a great guy you know he's just uh, you know what a lot of people will say he's a drum horror but I think the dude's just always working. You know, he, he just doesn't want to stop. And that's, you know, kudos to him for yes. wanting to just never stop and keep going and always finding something. So, you know, he's just always trying to stay busy. And at the time, he had kind of an opening to help us out. And we were like, dude, we'd love for you to do Mayhem. And so he came out and did those shows. And But he's, you know, he's busy. We're, you know, we're keeping our options open. So it just... Um, <laughs> Excuse me. You know, he kind of had his thing going on where we had Adam kind of stepping in the picture, and then we're like, all right, well, let's give Adam a try and see how things go with that. So Adam's still working things out with All Show Parish, and there's things going on in that camp. Um, but, uh, you know, we were glad that Adam could come out and help us out with this tour. So he's doing awesome, and, uh, you know, like I said, we're just keeping our options open. We want to find the right dude and the right drummer, and, you know. We're not in any hurry, so. Phil, uh, sophomore album, and you fucking nailed it. Thank you, thank you. Um, were you surprised that it made the charts, seekers, and stuff like that? Yeah, it was it was amazing. I mean, you know, here we are, a new band on the scene. We're, we're you know, we're first album, you know, had put some pretty good buzz from Sirius XM and, and things like that. So second album, there was a lot of pressure. And uh, when it was said and done, you know, we were very proud of what we did. Um, but when it was released, you know, you never know. You never just, you don't know how people are going to respond to it. You hope for the best. And, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's great. It's great to see that a new band like us and putting out a metal record like that can do so well you know right off the bat right off the get so i want to say to the new album <laughs> a little bit more thicker 
it, it's, it's, it's just like it has more yeah. to it. For sure. Um, was your approach different this time? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I think with this approach, number one, it was this working with a different studio. And yeah, also, Audio Hammer is great. I mean, yeah. they're, they're awesome. Yeah. And uh, working with them, they really kind of brought out the sound that we wanted. We, we you know, the first record it was kind of like a trial thing, you know. And you, you, you're, it's our first record, so you know we're figuring out what, what certain things we're new to it. So the second time around, you know, we're still learning, but it's like, you no, know, what we did on the first record, we want to outdo that. You know, we want to have more of an organic sound to to what we do. You know, because we're very much a live band. So, you know, definitely everything was reamped. There was no, because the first time we kind of went direct in and recorded. So this time it was like, we want a live guitar sound, drums. I want a live drum sound. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, basically, I didn't really want a whole lot of quantizing and things like that on it. So, you know, we kind of tried to go for a more organic feel. And at the same time, the songs itself were, you know, we were trying to put, um, more of a variety in what we were doing and not just trying to stay in the same kind of plain level. It was like each song kind of had its own character and, and, and you know, it wasn't like it was planned that way. It's just, I think that's how it came out. Now did Jason and the guys give you like pointers, hey, let's maybe do this or do that? Or... Of course. Yeah, absolutely. We worked with Ayal uh, Levy and Mark Lewis and Jason helped as well and They definitely, definitely gave a lot of pointers, a lot of their advice, and so, you know, things changed in the studio from pre-production to in the studio, and uh, it was awesome. I mean, definitely, you know, you go in, and the song sounds a certain way, and some songs I was like, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I like it, but I, you know, I'm a little iffy. I'm not, I don't know if I feel 100% confident in it, and once it was worked out in the studio, and once with their guidance, it, it turned out way beyond our expectations, so... Working with them was a huge help. Huge right. help. Right. Now, uh, do you ever so debate a genre tag? What genre tag would you give metal for us? Um, you know, definitely I would say we're in the vein of thrash metal, but I, I, you know, I'm so... I understand why genres are there and why we have genres to sort of identify bands, but at the same time, sometimes I think when people go too far with genres and you start breaking down things... In, in the most minuscule way, it's like, why don't you just say it's metal? Because in the end, it is all metal, right? I mean, we're all here listening to metal, whether it's black metal, whether it's death metal, whether it's thrash metal, whether it's power metal. You know, at the end of the day, when someone listens to a band, if you start telling them all these little things and breaking down what they sound like, you start to develop a picture in your head about what they sound like, instead of actually listening to the band for what it's worth, you know what I mean? And I think that sometimes can be, sometimes damaging, you know, because like if you, you may not, if someone tells you, oh, it's kind of death metal, it's kind of this, well, I don't listen to death metal, so I'm not going to listen to them. Well, maybe if you were to just listen to the band for what it is, you wouldn't you wouldn't develop that opinion. You would just take it in for what it is. So I like to say we're just a metal band, but of course, under the genres, I would say that we're closer to thrash metal because that's a, a lot where a lot of our influence draws from thrash metal. So. Uh, you, you guys just played at a ride festival uh, uh, with Metallica. How was it when you guys got the call? Hey, you guys want to participate in that? Was it like? It was incredible. I mean, we we knew that we were kind of in the running for that. You know, we had heard that it was coming to Detroit and you know <laughs> when we heard that we were kind of in the in the pot for uh, potential it was like crossing our fingers crossing our fingers you know and we had a lot of help from uh, Brian Slagle and, and Jose Mangan uh, who basically kind of vouched for us and through their recommendation so um, yeah it was It was un incredible, you know, just to know that, hey, we're actually... And at the same time, James Hetfield heard the band and was like, yeah, let's have Battlecross do it. You know, that's that's very... That's huge, and it's humbling to know that all these people, especially Metallica, wanted us on there. So, huge honor. Now, uh, you guys are fairly new bands, and you have had success very quickly coming to you. What advice would you give a band that is just now starting out? My advice is, I, you know, number one, focus on your music number one you know it's like everyone's everyone's a lot of bands sometimes are always in a hurry to like oh we want to go on tour we want to do this it's like slow down <coughs> excuse me 
You know, it's like focus on your music. Make sure you're tight. Make you know, focus on your songs. Make sure you have a solid sound before you go out there. And then from there, everything else builds from there. It's like, you know, finding the right people that are that want to help you. You know, don't just jump at any chance. Find people that want to help you without asking for much up front. You know, we've had the fortunate. Uh, you know, luck of, of having a good manager that took us on before we were signed and saw potential. You know, and when you and when you find people that see potential in you and want to help you, grasp on that and hold on to that and stay loyal. You know, and so it's to me, it's kind of like one of those things where, you know, develop your sound, stay humble, work hard, bust your ass, and don't expect the world handed to you because you got to work for it. And, and and even when you're signed, the work does not stop. You know, a lot of people think, oh, you're signed, and, you know, that's it. You know, it's like, no, it's that's where it just starts. You know, and the work, you got to really bust your ass, work hard, don't give up, don't make excuses, always make a show, get out there, meet your fans, hang out with your fans, you know, social media, all that shit. It's really important, you know. There's a whole new wave of how mu the music industry has changed, and bands need to take advantage of that and promote themselves. So. What <laughs> for Battle Press after this tour? I know you guys are going to Europe next year. Yeah. First uh, well, after this tour, we have three dates with Guar. Uh, we're doing uh, three dates with them, and then uh, and Iron Reagan. And after that, yeah, we're going over the UK with uh, and the Europe with uh, Kill Switch Engage and Trivium and uh, Miss May I. So. Stoked for that. First time going over to Europe. We're extremely excited. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Last words to your fans? Just want to say thanks to all the fans that support us. Thanks to the bands that have taken us out and, and you know, given us an opportunity to, to play in front of the audiences. And we just really appreciate all the support the fans give us. And thank you. And uh, we'll see you on the road soon.